Hi guys, this is Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. I want to give you guys a heads up. I had a download the other day on, on about two o'clock in the morning for me to change my video. Uh, the first part of the video is going to be a general energy for the person I'm reading with. So if I'm reading Aries, it's going to be Aries energy. And then all 12 signs, I'm going to get put all 12 signs down and clarify your person's energy you could be dealing with in the Zodiac. OK, so please keep in mind that these are general readings and they will not resonate with everyone. They are not gender specific and they can resonate in reverse. So take what resonates with you and please leave the rest. If you're interested in our giveaway that we do weekly, give me a comment of hashtag Quartz Rose Tarot giveaway. If you are the winner, we will notify you that you're the winner. We do have a new schedule uh, on Mondays. It is the water signs. On Tuesday, it's the fire signs. On Wednesday, it's the earth signs. And on Thursday, it's the air signs. So keep, uh, keep an eye out for your, uh, your sign on there. Uh, also, keep an eye out. We're going to be doing a weekend general reading for all signs. So it's one video for everybody. So it's a general reading for all signs. Um, that'll be coming out on Fridays uh, for the weekend energy. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in any kind of a membership option. You would have access to members-only videos, badges, custom emojis, uh, and even live, live streams for members only. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. Um, and if you're interested in booking a reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell uh, for when new content is released. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Welcome, Leo and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for August 17th through the 23rd. Uh, Leo, I am going to get a general overall reading uh, energy for you, and then I'm going to get a, a, a general energy for the people that you're dealing with or person that you're dealing with, and then I'm going to clarify that. So, and then we'll get into the reading. So, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, give me some clarity and guidance. What does Leo need to know for the week of, uh, this one's wanting to come out, the 17th through the 23rd. You've got... Uh, the Nine of Swords, you're feeling anxious up in your head, panic attacks possibly, sleepless nights. Now let me clarify that by laying out all of the signs, and then we're going to clarify that energy before we get into the next. So, ooh, cards are wanting to fly out. If you're dealing with an Aries, there's some deception. You're anxious about a deception. Uh, if you're dealing with a Taurus, there's a relationship there. Um, if you're dealing with a Gemini, uh, they're coming in as the King of Pentacles, solid, stable, dependable, um, grounded. If you're dealing with a Cancer, there's a, the Hierophant. This could be a contract, something traditional, uh, or a relationship, okay? Um, if you're dealing with another Leo, somebody's out in the cold. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're either holding on or holding back. If you're dealing with a Libra, uh, it's a new passionate beginning. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, there's a lot of burden there. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they're not speaking. They're, they're, uh, they're using their intuition. They're the keeper of the secret. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, uh, they're wanting to work on something. Uh, they're wanting to work and collaborate for success with the Three of Pentacles. This is about uh, working on it. Could be a third party. We'll see what, what comes out in the clarification. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, you got the Knight of Wands. Somebody's there for a good time, not a long time. And if you are dealing with Pisces, you have the devil. So somebody is toxic or somebody is obsessed, possessed. Um, however it resonates with you. So well, let's shuffle again and see what, why you're in this energy, okay? So why is Leo in the energy of the Nine of Swords? What's causing this panic, this sleepless nights, this um, being up in your head? 
Um, it has to do with a relationship, uh, a family situation, the Ten of Cups. So you're anxious about a family situation. Now, if you're dealing with an Aries, there is deception here. There is a lot of lying, cheating, and stealing. And what's crossing that is the Queen of Swords being strategic, not showing emotion. So this person... Um, is being deceptive and they're not showing their emotion about doing it. And so this person's coming in with the queen of swords energy and, uh, or this person's blocking. No, they're, it could be blocking deception. You're anxious about uh, a family situation, but there's deception. And then this person's being very um, strategic about it. Okay. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Taurus uh, wants to balance something out in a relationship. Uh, you know, it's a foundation, a celebration, but they want some balance. They need to be patient here. Now, if you're dealing with a Gemini, um, this person's manifesting stability with you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, there's a relationship that is a soulmate connection, a two of cups situation. Okay, so this is a, a very strong soulmate connection with this. It could be twin flame with the two of cups of the Hierophant and the ten of cups here. Okay, so um, if you're dealing with another Leo, somebody's out in the cold or out of financial lack, uh, but they're taking control of the situation, and uh, it's their way or the highway. This person's very stubborn, set in their ways. Aries energy. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they may be holding on or holding back. See what it is. Uh, they're holding back because they're stuck in their head about something. They're up in their head about something. They're not literally stuck. They're only, they can't get something out of their head. So that's why they're holding on or holding back. If you're dealing with a Libra, you have a new passionate beginning here, but something's ending so something new can begin. So with that you, this may be communication. It doesn't have to be a sexual relationship. It can be anything that's a new and passionate creativity. You know, there's a lot to that uh, Ace of Swords. You know, it, it speaks of communication and it speaks of uh, um, passion, you know, passionate communication and passionate new beginnings and just a new beginning in general. But something's ending so something new can begin. And if you're dealing with a Scorpio, you've got the Ten of Rods. There's burden and heartbreak. So there's a lot of burden and heartbreak. You could be up in, this could be a divorce. You know, up in your head about this family situation with a burden and heartache. Okay. So um, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, no, oh, I'm sorry, this is Sagittarius. Um, there's a choice between two. Someone's not speaking. They're using their intuition. There is a choice between two or a soulmate here. Which is it? They're getting clarity on it. Getting clarity. I'm going to pull another card here. Someone's taking the time to look at something in a different mindset, being divinely guided. Okay, they want a, a little bit more out here for Sagittarius. Okay, uh, for Leo. Uh, discontent. So this could be a soulmate connection. Someone's not speaking using their intuition about a soulmate connection. They need to get some clarity and take some more time. They're being divinely guided, um, but there is maybe a missed opportunity. It may be a missed opportunity for this Sagittarius with this Leo. Now, if you have... Um, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, a Capricorn is wanting to work on something from the past. They're working on something from the past, or they want to. Now, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, they've got the player card. They've got uh, the Knight of Wands coming in hot. Okay, he's coming in quick with that wand. He's juggling. You know, as the player does, he's juggling. Um, but he wants to offer you. It's taken a long time to offer you some stability, but he's just because he's juggling. That's the problem. He's he's still doing his player ways. And Pisces. Why is Pisces here with a devil card? The Empress and something hidden. So somebody could be obsessed about, they see you as the Empress, but they're hiding something. They're obsessed about this. And uh, this is the Empress. This is new beginnings. And this is, is an illusion. Uh, see, they're obsessed about you, but they, they, is it an illusion is what I just got. 
or is it wish fulfillment? They need to balance that out to find out. Okay, they're balancing out their emotions. They're, they could come and be uh, obsessed. You could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Um, no, you're actually, this is Pisces energy is coming in as a Capricorn energy. Um, but you've got Cancer, you've got um, Libra, and you have Taurus energy with the Empress. So they could be obsessed about this Empress, a new beginning with this Empress. Um, but there's something that's hidden. Pisces energy, Cancer energy. Um, is it a secret or an illusion um, that you're their wish fulfillment and they want to balance it out with you? They want to have equal reciprocity here. OK, uh, Leo, I'm going to take this to the next part of your reading, which is going to give you uh, you on one side and your person's on the other. You can flip it, switch it however it resonates with you. I'm going to get you some Oracle cards real quick and we're going to take it from there. So let's get into that. We'll start out with the fortune reading card. So Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits, and Guides, what does Leo need to know in this situation, please? What does Leo need to know in this situation, please? What does Leo need to know in this situation? You got the death card. A time of natural transition and transformation. We'll get you some moonology cards. Spirit, angel spirits and guides, give me some clarity and guidance. What does Leo need to know in this situation, please? What does Leo need to know in this situation, please? Your hard work is paying off. So you may be, uh, you know, there may be a transformation because of all the work that you're putting into a situation. This is the quantum oracle. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, give me some clarity and guidance. What does Leo need to know in this situation? What does Leo need to know in this situation? Here we go. What does Leo need to know in this situation, please? What does Leo need to know in this situation? Okay. New beginnings. Your hard work's going to pay off. There's going to be a transformation and a new beginning here. Looking good, Leo. You've got an energy oracle here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, give me some clarity and guidance. What does Leo need to know in this situation? What does Leo need to know in this situation, please? Okay, what does Leo need to know in this situation? Man holding a coin. It'd be like a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn energy there. So he's, he's very solid, stable, dependable, uh, king of pinnacle energy here that you have. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, give me some clarity and guidance. What does Leo need to know in this situation? What does Leo need to know in this situation? What does Leo need to know in this situation? What does Leo need to know? Photograph. Okay, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, keeping, making new memories. So you may be somebody from your past so there's a transformation here you you know you may have broken up with somebody you may have a new beginning with this person i'm getting taurus virgo capricorn energy um but this person's looking at your photos and they're missing you uh leo so let's get into this holy spirit angel spirits and guides what does leo need to know in this situation what does leo need to know in this situation what does Leo need to know in this situation, please? What does Leo need to know in this situation? What does Leo need to know? Okay, first card out, the chariot, cancer energy. So you're wanting to move forward, but you're anxious. You're up in your head. You feel stuck. Because there's something that's hidden, strong emotion, you're hiding your happiness. What was what was uh what happened in the dark is coming to the light, okay? So you got the moon and the sun. So what happened in the night is coming to light in the day. This is about something that was hidden and it's about to be revealed, okay? With the sun card, okay? You feel stuck and bound um and you're not happy. Okay? So um what does the person that Leo is dealing with, what does she need to know about the person she's dealing with or he's dealing with uh, that the Leo is dealing 
one. Let's put it that way. Okay, so someone feels very guarded and defensive, and they could be holding on or holding back with the Four of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They may be coming in slowly with an offer of stability. It may have taken a long time to take this leap of faith towards you. Okay, so this person may be moving. This could be them being non-committal. Um, it's taken a long time because they're non-committal. That's what it is. Um, they're very guarded. Okay, this wanted to come out over there, but um, there was someone felt backstabbed and betrayed by someone from the past because of somebody from their past. So that's a possibility here. Okay, so you have somebody who's very guarded and defensive. They could be holding on or holding back. It took them a long time because they were noncommittal, and they may have betrayed you with something from their past. Um, what's the obstacle here? What's the obstacle here for Leo? Offering that cup. There you are, Leo. There you are. Queen of Rods. Um, you are not going to ask permission. You are confident. You are, um, you know, you're going to go for what you want. Okay. That cup's being offered to the, to the Queen of Rods. And what's the outcome? An emotional message to reconcile. That's couldn't be clearer than the nose on your face there. Okay, so let's clarify this. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, give me some clarity and guidance. What does Leo need to know in this situation? What's Leo need to know? It looks like um, Leo, you're moving forward. You're trying to make a decision to move forward here um, to your wish fulfillment. You're up in your head, you're anxious, sleepless nights, and you need to wait, okay? You're waiting, you're at a distance from somebody, um, you're waiting for your ships to come in, but this is yearning, waiting, um, that's why you're anxious, you're, you're, uh, you're yearning for this. Okay, so something that was hidden is going to come to light. So what was hidden? Somebody being strategic, not showing emotion. Why is the King of Swords here of hiding? He's watching you. Okay, he's got a plan, but he's watching you, and uh, he's trying to hide that he's he's trying to hide. Could be a fake profile, is what I just heard. Fake profile. Somebody's watching you, being strategic about something, and they are spying. Okay, now they're holding on. They're still holding on. They're happy. They're holding. They want to hold on to this. They're not going to let you go. That's what I'm getting. They're not letting you go. Okay, you're up in your head feeling stuck and bound. Uh, you want a new passionate beginning or you have one. Um, you want one, but you're heartbroken. You had one and you were heartbroken. A new, oh, this could be, you're up in your head about a new passionate beginning. This could be conversation. This could be um, Okay. Here's what I got. You are up in your head, stuck and bound to something. You feel like you're up in your head, like you can't get free from this. This, a new passionate beginning. I'm getting that this is communication. This is not, this is not a new passionate beginning where sex is concerned. This is communication, very passionate communication. And this breaks your heart because somebody is wanting to win at all costs. It doesn't matter what you say or what you do. You feel like the, that you can't win. It's an empty victory here. Like you are, that's why you're so discontent. You're not happy with what's being offered to you at this moment. You're not happy about it at all. You're not happy about it and you want to move on. That's what I'm getting. You want to move on. Now, your person, very guarded and defensive. Why are they guarded and defensive? Um, because of a queen of cups. Um, they're using their emotion. They're not speaking. They're, this is about intuition. They're, they're using their intuition about something. Um, I get, I'm getting an, um, very emotional that they need to balance out their emotions. That's why they're so guarded and defensive about this. They need to balance something out. Are they holding on or holding back? They're holding on for a new beginning. They're, they're not letting you go. I said they're not letting you go, but you're not liking what they're offering. And, and it's just, it's, you feel like there's nothing but fighting going on. It's constant fighting is what I'm getting. 
Okay, so they're coming towards you slowly and with an offer of, of love. You know, they want that stability and love, but it's taken a long time to get there. And and it's because they were non-committal. Why were they non-committal? Um, because he mastered his emotions. He wasn't showing you his emotions. He wasn't giving you the love that you deserved. He was not showing you that how much he loved you. He does love you. He's just not showing it. Okay, so there was some backstab and betrayal here. Um, they feel like they there there was betrayal. They know they backstabbed. They betrayed you. They know that this ended. Uh, but you are the you know they want their happiness with you. This causes them a lot of anxiety because this person does want to reconcile. This person wants to reconcile with you, but they feel like they, they have betrayed you and they know that you're their happiness. So um, they betrayed you with somebody from their past. So who is this past person, this six of cups? Someone that they saw as their two of cups. And they wanted to move forward with them. Queen of Pentacles. Uh, this could have been an ex-wife. I'm getting ex-wife here. Or ex, and this is an ex, okay? Um, so someone from the past, they saw this person as their two of cups. They thought this was their soulmate, and they wanted to move past the drama and move forward or move on with this person from their past, their ex, uh, whoever this ex is, okay? But they're now coming in, and they're offering their cup to the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is getting this, you know, let's date, let's, let's fall in love again, let's, here's my cup, and let's see where this goes. And um, the light's being shed on something for a victory. So someone's going to get, be clear about something. They've gone within, and they're very clear about something, and they want a victory. But this also could be ego and somebody wanting to be seen head and shoulders above the rest. But why is that here? Yeah, they, no, they want a victory. They're going to come towards you wanting to fight for it. They're wanting to fight for the relationship. They're, they're going to be clear about it, and they want to come in fighting with this relation for this relationship. So in the outcome, the, you know, there's an emotional message to reconcile. What's the emotional message to reconcile about? Justice. They want to give you justice here. There you go. Leo, that is all I have for you. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful week.